We're going to Ireland, babe. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked The time is here, and I am stressed. So excited but really stressed, can't lie. I am stepping so far out of my comfort zone with this trip, but that's like the best part of it, I think, is just like the unknown. Something I've learned from traveling a lot, or just like life in general, is the things that scare you the most or the things that you're most nervous about are often the areas that you're going to grow in the most. I leave in two and a half hours to go to the airport to go to Dublin. There's just a couple of things that are like, oh my God, I don't know what to do about this, but like, I'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. That's what I always remind myself. I'll handle it. It's not a big deal. I will handle it. One hour later. Sorry about that last clip. I was feeling stressed um, because I was thinking about everything possible. Um, but I'm not stressed anymore. I'm really excited. Here's my backpack. This is what I'm going to be traveling with for the next month. Ah! So excited. Doesn't feel real. Doesn't feel real. Uh, 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 uh. We're going to Ireland, babe. Let's bloody go. Most likely going to get copyrighted for the music in the background but I just made it to my hostel and I feel delirious I didn't really sleep much on the plane at all but when I got here I got a taxi and went to a little cafe it was called like art cafe it's like a three minute walk from my hostel I was just sitting in there I got a hot chocolate and a ham toasty which is just like a ham a grilled ham whatever and then I was, I'm just like so sleepy and out of it. I feel sort of like how I felt when I drove all the way to Florida overnight. Um, just like disoriented because of the time difference and also just like my lack of sleep. But I am persevering. I have four hours until I can check in. So I'm just going to sit here in this comfy little corner, charge my devices watch my shows, read my books, and pray. I don't know if I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna sleep as soon as I get to my room, but we'll see. I'm trying to figure out how to avoid the jet lag, but I don't think it's avoidable. I think I could go to sleep now and wake up tomorrow morning. It's 11 in the morning here. I think I could go to sleep now and wake up tomorrow at seven, ready to go. I feel like I could sleep for decades. We're in Dublin. to dinner. I'm starving. There's live music here tonight, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, perfect. Love to dye my hair with mascara. Here's my locker. This is the outfit. Just a sweater, trousers, new balances, leather. Hair is doing whatever it wants to. Here's the rest. just got back from eating the most delicious meal I've ever had. It was a half roast chicken with some fries and a little salad and some gravy and oh my god it was delicious but I feel like my brain's not functioning. It's currently 5 45. I lasted longer than I thought I would. I'm going to bed. Good night.
I'm currently walking to the Trinity College Library. Boy, is it cold, but wow, it's beautiful here. Oh my god, wow. I got truffle chicken tenders and broccoli into a little thrift store didn't find anything and now I'm walking back to my hostel and I'm going to a pub crawl later <laughs> to disconnect my Bluetooth before talking into voice notes because otherwise it goes through my AirPods and I might as well be talking into a brick. You can't hear it at all. But I got back from dinner like an hour and a half ago and I've just been sitting in a little like chill out area in the hostel doing some work, writing in my journal that I got today at the library. Don't know if I said anything to you about the library. Most magical place I've ever been in my whole life. Would love to, you know, sort of have my rom-com moment there. Fall in love, if you will. It will happen. Don't ask me when or how, but I just sort of know those things. If you can get what I'm saying. Sure did cry. That's fine. It's also just, like, kind of interesting timing that I'm reading Akatar right now. Even though, yes, there's a library in that book, but, like, I just feel like that's the library. You know what I mean? Anyway. Dinner was delicious, puts American food to a shame, but like, honestly, I think I could pull a potato out of the ground and eat it raw, and that would put America's food to shame. It was called Crew. It was like a New Orleans-style restaurant. I got garlic truffle chicken and broccoli. Delish. I signed up for a pub crawl tonight. Starts in an hour and a half. I was feeling so social and high energy when I signed up this afternoon. Now feeling like I could hibernate for the next six months. Will I go? Who knows? It depends on how I feel the second I'm supposed to leave. Right now, not looking like it. Looking like I want to eat my leftovers and then sleep for the next 14 hours probably. Yeah, I got a journal at the library because someone recommended that even though I'm like doing this to journal every day about what I did and how I feel, which is cool. It reminds me of summer camp. I used to do that. I'm going to go read and then probably sleep. But if I do end up going to the pub crawl, sure, we'll let you know. <laughs> I've decided I am going to go to the pub crawl. I posted on my Instagram story saying, Oh, wow, well, I'm a little baby. I'm tired. I don't want to go. But I posted a poll. And I was like, should I go anyways? 70% of people said yes. The other said no. And I'm like, life is all about accepting hard truths. I'm such an advocate for accepting those hard pills to swallow and accepting hard truths and this seems to be one of them so i had a latte and now i have no choice but to go because i'm not gonna fall asleep after having a latte and i need to walk it out of my system so i had my leftover chicky tendies i leave in probably 45 minutes so i'm gonna sit here and watch the rest of this insanely chill episode and then leave and hey i don't have to stay the whole time as a matter of fact i won't Actually, who's to say? Me. Because I'm not even going to drink that much. I'll probably have one or two beers. Because I'm 
declared sober, but I really want to try Guinness, so I'm going to, because I didn't have an alcohol problem. I just said, that doesn't make me feel good. I'm going to stop drinking it, but I want to drink it, so I'm going to. And no one can get mad at me for doing an Irish goodbye in Ireland, so I will be doing that. I came to this lovely little spot called Kale and Coco for breakfast, but they didn't have any seats inside, so we're sitting outside, which is fine. This is really good. This isn't even flavored. They just put some agave syrup in it, but it's delicious. And of course, I got an acai bowl. Let's try it. I mean, you can't go wrong, honestly, can you? I don't have any plans for today. Besides the pub crawl tonight, I was going to go last night, but I ended up making friends with the girls who are in my hostel dorm, and they're going tonight, so I was like, I'll just wait to go tonight. Even though I kind of wish I did go last night, because I have my day trip tomorrow, and I have to be up at like 6, so I'm not going to want to be out late for a hostel, I mean for a pub crawl, but I'll go. It starts at 8, I'll stay probably until 10 or so. And then go back and try to get some sleep because I have a long day tomorrow. But last night we just went down to the hostels bar, chatted, and I went to bed. But I'm gonna eat this, drink this, read, and then just walk around because this is like a 35 minute walk from my hostel. So I'm gonna walk a different way back and see what I can find. Oi, bloody oi. I'm at St. Patrick's Cathedral right now. I just went to Dublin Castle. How is it so pretty here? I was freezing cold this morning, but honestly the weather is like really nice now. I'm also walking so much, I don't really, I'm not cold, but it is so beautiful here. I can't get over it. Don't know what I'm gonna do after this. I think I'm just gonna walk back to the hostel, get a hot coffee, chill out in that little room. But for now, I'm just gonna sit here and look at this because holy shit, never seen anything so pretty. I feel like I'm in um, Mary-Kate and Ashley take on Paris, even though I'm in Ireland, but. I gotta be honest, I feel like I've done a really good job at recording this trip. I really feel like I have. I'm proud of myself. Y'all, last night, you if you know me, you know how I am with feeling like I live in a rom-com. That didn't stop last night, let's just say that. So I went on the pub crawl, 
I'll insert, I probably already inserted footage, that pub crawl. So the pub crawl was four bars, four pubs, and then there's a club at the end. I went to the four pubs, did not go to the club. At every pub you get, the first pub you got like a free Guinness, and then every club after that you get like a free mixed shot. The, I went with the girls in my hostel. At the second pub we made a friend, he was from Australia, he was really sweet. My friends came up and they were like, are you interested in him? I kind of ship it. And I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about it. He was sweet, but like such a soft boy. And I'm like, okay. And then I was talking to my friend. And it's funny because the whole night we were like, I was trying to p tell her what my type is. And I was like, I don't have a type, but I do, but I don't. And then we went to the third pub. And there was this man who I looked at and I was like, that's it. If I have a type, that's it. And then five seconds later, he approaches me. My alarm just went off for my laundry, so I have to go do that soon. But anyway, he approaches me, and we're just chatting at first. Straight off the bat, you can tell this man is such a player. It's so obvious, but also, like, not looking for a husband out here. I do it for the plot. If it's a good story, I'll do it. So we're just chatting, whatever. And then he asked me sort of what I'm doing here, where I'm going next. And I told him I'll be in London. And he was like, oh my God, I'll be like, I'll take you out in London. I'll be your tour guide for London. And I was like, I'm gonna hold you to that. Don't just say that. Cause I love when people show me around places. And he's like, no, here's my Instagram. So we exchanged Instagrams, whatever. He just, he, you could, uh, this will tell you the type of guy he was, first of all. Hand tattoos, nose pierced, British. But he kept saying like, like people come up and he's like, I can't leave, I've just fallen in love. You know what I mean? That kind of flirting. And I'm just like, cute, but I'm not falling for it. I end up leaving, going to the next pub. And when I'm walking there, I got separated from my group. This French man stopped me in the street and was like, I just have to tell you, you're so beautiful. And I'm like, thanks. And at first it was like kind of sweet. But then I was like, it got weird because he kept talking, like asking me where I'm from and my name. And then he like pulled me in for a hug and kissed the top of my head. And I was like, oh, he's going to probably kill me now. Or like try to pickpocket me. I feel like maybe that's what he was trying to do. I don't know. I, it's really, it's really hard to tell because I looked, I walked away and I looked back and he was just like staring back at me and I'm like, that's weird. I was telling you about my night out, the pub crawl and how that one French guy was really weird and like hugged me, kissed me on the head, did so much all at once. I don't know if I told you then, but when all of it was happening, it all happened so fast. I didn't really have any time to do anything. But while he was like hugging me and stuff, I was like, this man's either gonna kill me or pickpocket me. So the whole next day, so Sunday, all day Sunday, I was like, I need to check my coat because what if he put like a tracker on it? I was just being paranoid. So I check my coat on Sunday and look what I find. Basically it's a big slash, like right, pretty much from my heart to like my abdomen, which is awesome. Um, and I was like, holy shit. I thought I was crazy. So I asked all the girls in my hostel and then I called some people and asked what they thought. And they were like, that's from a knife, which is so sick. So I don't know if he was trying to, you know, shank me or if he was trying to cut my fanny pack off of me, but either way, too close for comfort. And the only thing that protected me was that leather coat. Cause it's thick leather. So it took a lot to like get through. But it makes so much sense because I had such a weird feeling about it just with like the whole interaction. Like he approached me like a salesman would, like, hey, you know what I mean? And then was like, oh my God, you're so cute. Hands on my shoulders is saying all these things all at once, hugging me really fast, kissing my head. And then like before I could do anything, walked away. And then I turned around and he's looking at me like all like confused almost, but like gave me a shiver like did not sit right with me which is why the whole next day i was like something weird happened there because you can tell when a guy is like flirting with you or you can tell when you turn around and he's like checking you out that was not what happened so that's awesome either almost got shanked or robbed either way there was a knife very close to my heart which is sick <laughs>
it just made me realize like being street smart in Europe versus America is so different because I'm so used to like looking for guns never thought about shanks so that's interesting I'm okay I was really shaken up that day when especially when all the girls in my hostel were like that's terrifying because I was like I wanted to make sure I wasn't crazy like is this valid and they're like yeah that's not I'll sh you'll see when I show you it's so long and it's very clearly like someone tried to get through it twice because they cut through two layers and like it's just weird I would have felt if I got snagged on something like it ripped through I would have felt it so that's awesome and it would have been so easy while he was like putting his hands on my shoulders kissing my head like he was clearly trying to disorient me it would have been so easy for him to just like hug me with one arm knife in the other so that's scary go to the last pub I'm not really interested so I leave and I'm walking back it's like a 30 minute walk back to my hostel and I stopped back in at the pub I was at just for like just to see and I wish I would have left it at this I wish I just would have left it as is and went home because when I went back to the pub that the British guy was at he was he had been drinking more the whole time and I hadn't so like originally we were on the same level and it was great he then surpassed me very much so and got very drunk was still su sweetheart having a good time rom-com moment We're, like spinning around doing twirls like dips dancing it was cute but then I just got over it. You know what I mean? I was just like, yeah, I'm over it. I'll still let him show me around London, but I was just like, I'm over it. But his friend was talking to me and I hate it when drunk guys especially get so close to your face to talk to you and this man was his friend. And he was talking to me and I just looked at him. I was it. just like, did you throw up tonight? <laughs> like your breath reeks. So then I was like, go rinse your mouth out. You have to throw up on your mouth. Go rinse your mouth out with water in the bathroom. And he's like, okay, can you wash my beer? I'm like, sure. And then I tell this guy, I was like, your friend's going to the bathroom. Can you watch his beer? He's like, yep. I was like, okay, I'm leaving. He gives me a kiss on the cheek. He says, message me when you're in London. I'll show you around. I'm like, okay. Didn't think anything of it. Get back to my hostel. He messages me seeing if I got him safe. I'm like, you are such a player. This man looks like he should be on... I... Um, today when I was talking to the girls, no, it was last night, talking to the girls in my hostel about it when we all met back up, they were like, he looks like he should be on, like, Too Hot to Handle, and I'm like, that's exactly what I was thinking, but all for the plot, like I said, not looking for a husband, just thought it would be fun, and it was, it was a great story, so that happened, and then I was supposed to have, oh, I was supposed to have my day trip to the cliffs today, but I didn't end up going to sleep until 2.30, so... I just bought another ticket for tomorrow, which is a waste of money, but also, like, I'm the type of person I will spend extra money if it means I'm going to have a good time. And I know if I had to get up at 5-something this morning to go walk, to be there at 6.30, to go on a 13-hour day, I would have not enjoyed myself. So I rebooked for tomorrow, and today's just a chill day. I need a chill day. I'm doing laundry now. I need to go flip it. I'm going to just hang out, probably. There's another library I want to go check out, and I'll do that. But other than that, we're just hanging out. So, that's what we're doing. But I'm loving it here. Dublin is beautiful. It was so beautiful at night. I went to the Temple Bar area. I saw Temple Bar. So pretty. So pretty. This latte is bang on. Anyways, I think that's all for now. But I love ya. We're having a great time.
this is the best day of my life. I've never in my life seen anything this magical before. Never in my life have I seen anything as beautiful as this country. If you are going to travel anywhere, please put Ireland at the top of your list. Dublin is so fun, but like the nature of this country, it literally like makes me emotional. Please ignore the fact that every time you see me sitting in this lobby talking, I'm wearing the same outfit. I've only got so much to work with, so just deal with it. Anyway, I went to the cliffs yesterday. I went to the Burren. I went to Doolin for lunch. I went to Galway. It was really amazing, really beautiful. Best day of my life. Can't even put it into words. If you go to Ireland, go there. I did it through Irish Day Tours. Actually, I did it through Get Your Guide, but it was on Irish Day Tours. I don't know. Highly recommend, it was a long day. I had to meet up at the place at 6.40, which it was like a 20 minute walk, so I left here at 6.15. Got there at 6.40, left, and then we didn't get back. I didn't get back to my hostel until like 8.30 last night. I leave Ireland today. I have a couple of hours left. I have to check out at 11. My flight's at 3. I think I'm going to leave the hostel at like 12, maybe. I think the airport's 30 minutes away. I'm going to take a bus just because I don't want to spend 40 euros for a taxi. Even though I don't want to take the bus. Because I have all my shit. But I think I'm going to. We'll see. I don't really know. But anyways, going to Edinburgh today. I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to end the vlog here then start my Edinburgh vlog. I'm so excited to edit this and post it. I've been editing it as I go because I'm just having so much fun. But Ireland truly has been a dream. I was so emotional yesterday just because like, I don't know, it really hits me when I'm in nature spots just because I think I'm such a nature person. But like obviously being in cities, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. But I think to an extent, a lot of cities feel similar. Obviously they all feel different, but like, it didn't really hit me that I was like here until I saw the cliffs, which is something that's been on my bucket list. I don't know if you know, I have in my notes app, I'll show you, a long ass list of bucket list places I want to go to and the cliffs have been on them for so long. So it was just one of those things. And I remember it was a very similar feeling to when I was at Cruz de Tolentango in Mexico. It's just seeing something so big and magnificent. It, you like have to like stop yourself or I try to do that in moments like that where I'm like, stopping myself and being like take a deep breath house and like you're gonna want to remember this you're going to want to like be present so just be present like just look out and just take deep breaths and be here so i really practiced doing that in moments like that but then we went to the burren and that was something i wasn't even expecting but it was so cool so i'm really glad i went I almost didn't go just because I was so tired, but I'm gonna have a chill day today, obviously after the airport, because when I get, oh no, I'll be able to check in when I get there because my flight's at three. That's awesome, I won't have to wait. So I might just go nap. But either way, I need to incorporate a chill day into my schedule. Probably maybe when I get to London, because I'm only in Edinburgh for like three or four days. But anyways, I'm gonna leave this here. Such a dream. I hope you loved it. I hope you felt like you were here. Thanks for watching, friends. <coughs> On to the next one. And remember, you deserve healthy love. And you deserve to live your life. So if you want to travel, go do it. Love you. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed.